So I'm just back from Sydney for the Supernova and um, picked up the uh, gallery cards, uh, including folder, uh, from the Fru booth and uh, about to give them as a present to my son, uh, about to turn 10. Um, not as a birthday present or anything, but just because I was away and I want him to get into fandom stuff. He's collected footy cards and that sort of thing before. Um, never in a, a folder though, so um, I'm pretty excited to give him uh, his own folder to collect cards and also um, yeah, we might drip feed him a few of the uh, the Phantom Gallery Series 2 cards over the next little while and he'll get a new packet every time he's doing some good things. So anyway, um, about to start start that process and teach him what it's all about. Um, hope you enjoy him getting his first folder. Oh, solo cards. These ones. These from the two? Yeah. <laughs> These look like fo footy cards. They are a bit. Oh, open! Open! <laughs> Can you work it out? I will. Aha! I have figured this out. I have got. This card. Rick is an American comic artist and animator who has worked for Marvel DC, Eclipse, Malibu, Oculus, Dark Horse, and Disney. He has been anim active since animate in animation since 1978 and has worked on Defenders of the Earth. Mm -hmm. Hey. Actually, de Phantom Riding Devil. Oh, not Devil. Well, Riding Devil. Riding Hero. Who? <laughs> huh? Who's this? Hmm. Okay, so what you'll notice is that, see, this has almost looked like part of a story. And it becomes a bit of a jigsaw. Okay. Do you know how to figure out where the jigsaw goes yeah. together? How? So you've got to go like this. See all the pieces and put the... What? There are so many phantoms. How do you do that? Is there any clues that you can figure out to work out how the puzzle goes together? Some of the... There's some that have... Like it's on the dark night. Yeah. Like it's got writing. Does the writing on the sides have anything to do with it? No, not that writing. Oh, building. I'll be interested to see if you can spot the very the small clue on every card. I figured it. What is it? It's the little numbers. Okay. So. Hey, Lauren. Yeah. So, if you. Oh, that's cool. Why is that cool? Because if you look at this one compared to this one. This one's shiny. Yeah. And, and it sticks out. It's cool. Sticks out. Oh. So if you look on this one. There's little bits of here. Oh, do you know what they call that? What? Embossing. Okay. Means that it sort of pops out a little bit. GV3? Oh, no, it's not. So the clues are the numbers and then Gus. What you do is you've got to put them in the packet in order and if you go number one two three watch it watch me one two three four five six seven eight nine once you get all nine cards then that page will of the comic will be ready okay gv3 what's that mean well that's a special card so yep so some of the cards are 
like the Jigsaw comic, and some of the cards are just showing you artwork by different artists, and then some of the cards are super special ones. So, do you want to have another look at it after dinner? No, I'm gonna do an ill now. <laughs> so three, three. Yep. So you put that in the slot where number three should go. I'm not staying here to be killed by a ghost. No. <laughs> that really shows he is a ghost. He does. <laughs> 86. Did I want my <laughs> That's nine. Oh. oh, so there's another one on this side. Smart. Ten, <coughs> eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. And that means nineteen should go here. Good. These are way more compli complicated than the last ones. <laughs> the smallest one here is 22. Wait. T. 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 Yeah, we'll have to work that out. Gus, I think you're hooked. Ian. Just because you're special. Thank you so much. We'll open those ones after dinner, huh? Mm -mm, right now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so we're a couple of days in now and Gus has been really enjoying collecting his cards. I gave him five on the first day, five packs. And uh, he started to, you know, really enjoy the story cards in particular. He was really keen to see these come together. Um, uh, he also really loves getting the uh, the special cards um, at the back there. He loves the fact that he's already got so many of the uh, of the six. Um, I don't know how he's going to feel when he finds out how many doubles of those he's going to get. But anyway, um, he's do he does have a few doubles of the of the standard cards already so far. And uh, he's looking forward to finding someone to trade them with, I think. Maybe me later. We'll see. Um, look, there is gonna, we're going to have a proper review of these when we look at them um, from a collector's point of view. But uh, I hope you enjoyed seeing them through a kid's eyes. And I hope, more to the point, you can actually find a kid to share them with yourself. If you're a Phantom fan, let's, uh, let's share them with the kids. All right, cheers. Happy Phantoming.